All right, Ultimate Hoops Nation. My name is Reed Nelson. Izzy Elkfoss, This Week in Rec. I don't know if I had a fun time tonight. I think I had a really, really poor time. How, how about you? It sucked. It was the worst night ever. Worst night ever. Okay, well, we'll get to all of that. Um, a couple of games you missed. Blair Johnson, game winner for the Shockers over the Blue Chips. Arsenio Richardson misses the front end of a one and one allowing for Blair Johnson to come down, sink the game winner. Matt Bean 0 for 6, Zhao Li not here. Arsenio Richardson 26 points, 9 of 18 shooting. Do you know anything about Zhao Li or where he's been or whether or not he's going to be here tomorrow night for their matchup versus the Rebels? No, but he's proven to be very unreliable over the years, so you just assume he's not coming, and if he does, great. They're going to have struggle really badly tomorrow night against the Rebels. We'll get to that in a second. Second, maybe the best game of the night, UANO defeats the Blazers 70-68. to Storm Graham had a wonder, I believe it was Storm Graham running the tape now, had a wonderful save uh, that, that really saved the game for them at the end. There was an inadvertent whistle by uh, Chris, your new favorite referee, who actually, the UANO was very upset about this inadvertent whistle. It was on a long Hail Mary. But if you look at the tape closely, Devin was about to emerge with the ball for what would have been a wide open layup. So really the Blazers are who should be mad and when they're seeing this video, I think they're gonna be mad. So you ain't no mad at the time. Blazers mad now, uh, but you ain't no advances. Okay, let's talk a little bit about some games that you were involved in. Fob Five defeats the Sonics 67-58. Yeah. Um, you guys had control of this game throughout most of it. Very physical, tightened up at the end. Uh, do your best to talk about this game. Yeah, I mean, the, the thank you. Thank you. The, um, the, the scoreline at the end wasn't how the game went. I mean, now it was a blow from, from the opening tip. Uh, we, were kinda, we were still kind of pissed about week one. They embarrassed us week one, and uh, we were happy to play them in the first round. Um, so we kind of took it to them, and then in the last probably five, six minutes, we kind of slowed down. I did especially because I didn't want to get tired for the second game. And then Matt and Mike, we had another game, so we kind of took our foot off the gas a little bit. And Devin just or, uh, Dustin just came back from uh, five nights. I thought he was going to be gone for a week. I thought he was going to be gone tonight, actually. Five nights in Cancun. They just flew in at like 5.30. I, I'm amazed that he was able to play two games. I saw the Snapchats. He wasn't in no way, shape, or form ready for two games tonight, but he was. It's amazing. Um, tomorrow night, you guys play uh, free ballers, correct? Who handled the Monstars easily. Jake Thompson, 13, this is Jake Thompson's stat line. Now, granted, it was five on four. But Jake Thompson was 13 of 26 in the field. All threes <laughs> for 39 points. Uh, again, five on four. Um, rematch of week, I don't remember. You guys played them, though, this season, did you not? Should have. Like week five. Week five, maybe. Yeah, week, week four, five, six, whatever. And the result of the first game was? Fob by uh, maybe three or something. It was close. It was a close game. Okay. We'll get to that in a second. Footballers, uh, let me ask you this. First off, the Shockers almost lost, and the two seeds always lose on these nights. Has a one seed that they do has a one seed ever lost in the Sweet 16 that you can recall? Uh, yes, they have. The Rebels were a 16 seed and they beat the one seed at the time, and I can't remember who it was. This how, was how long ago? Uh, maybe six seasons ago. That, that's the one I remember for sure. It was like six seasons ago. Rebels went three and five, snuck into the playoffs. Um, they're snuck into like a top 16 seed, and they knocked off the one seed. I think Big Smash also beat Bulls North that one year. That Bulls North went undefeated. The easy schedule, they were 8-0. Yeah, yeah. I think it's happened a couple times. Well, I, we'd have to look back. But we historically, the one seed's gotten some bad draws uh, when we did the old format. So with the new format now, you chose the footballers. No, no, you chose. No, I, Where did you have no, them? No. I didn't choose anything. Helmy chose. Helmy picked for the Gorillas. Okay, I did not know that. I apologize. And <clears throat> this game is 60% my fault and 40% his fault. 
40% his fault for putting the footballers on our side of the bracket or picking them in, in our bracket because that's like the worst possible matchup for us. We're more – we're s smart. We move the ball around. We shoot. We're unathletic. They're athletic freaks, and we that, that's our bugaboo. I, I don't know how it made sense for him to do that. Uh, horrible decision. So I, he's got 40% for that. And plus he played poorly. The 60% the goes on me because there was about – Maybe two minutes left. Storm looked a little tired. I had five fouls. Uh, I subbed in for Storm, and I shouldn't have. I should have just let Storm play out. I go on the court for Storm, ask him who he had. He said, Cheryl's. I look at Cheryl's. I got five fouls. We're up by one point, and I stood no chance. Like, no chance on that drive. Like, I, I could have, I don't know. I could have been, I could have had a jetpack, and I wasn't keeping up with him. It was stupid. It was stupid. I shouldn't have ever done it. That's on me. It's my fault. Completely my fault. Completely my fault. Mike Franklin's block at the end of the game, he lost it, but I, I don't know if it really necessarily would have mattered, but we're running it now, slow motion. It looked clean at the time. Re regardless, that's a, that's a gutsy call for a referee to make <laughs> a goaltend at, in that situation regardless. It's, it's, so. just, it's just what bad refs typically do. Um, in, in the... It was a block. Ooh, it was a block. In the possession before that, offensive, I got an offensive rebound, came down with it, it got hit out of my hands, bounced off of one of the footballer's foot, right in front of, what's his name, Darren? Derek? What's his name? The new guy? The new? The white guy. Oh, um, we just said it earlier in the show. You said I forget. It. Like I forget. Derek, Devin. I'll, I'll, I'll come. Chris. Chris Dangwell. That's what it yeah, is. Chris. Right in front of Chris, and he gives it to them in a six-point game. And then they go down. And Mike Mike blocks that shot, also in a six-point game. Uh, the refs on both courts were historically bad, like all-time bad. Uh, Chris has been pretty good, but when these 930 games happen, these refs really mail it in, like completely mail it in. They want to get the game going. They don't even, they don't even respect timeouts. They just drop the ball. They start counting five seconds. It's, it's, it's a shit show, like from top to bottom. Uh, the guy, the, the short um, African-American man, um, he was the guy that ref the Rebels uh, Gorillas game week seven or week eight, and we were told that he wasn't ever going to be on the staff again be, or on the court again because he cussed out Ryan Samuelson and like, told him to go sit down, and then he's assigned for the Sweet 16. Who's making who's... I'm not going to disagree with you. Tonight, I'm actually going to agree with you on, on on most of this stuff. That court wasn't that bad. The, the black guy was horrible. <laughs> Mike 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 said Mike Mike said he knows what a high guy looks like. He knows it, and he said that guy was high tonight. I, I'm going to take his word for it because I'm not a, I'm not a you know I'm not a herbal dentist or a herbal herbal doctor. But Mike Mike, I, I'll take his word for it. Okay, as close to Ross So you get. what you said before, I agreed with. I don't know if I agree with that last part. So, um, but noted for sure. Rebels handle the Red Devils. In fact, uh, new region coordinator, Zach Neubauer, this is the only game he didn't predict tonight. He got every other game correct. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, was it on camera? No, he Twitter. Oh. Follow him at Zach Neubauer yeah, new, new, 2. N-E-W-B-O-W-E-R, Bauer. Uh, new, new Bauer. 31 and 29% from 3.4, uh, respectively. Rebels v. Shockers tomorrow. We'll talk about that in two seconds. Last game. What am I missing? Squires control the Bulls 64-51. Listen, I came here about at halftime of that game. When I saw that game and I saw this everything, I knew tonight was going to be a long night. I just, I just knew it was on this court, and I was right. It was a long night. Okay, let's quickly predict the games for tonight in Fridley. 7 and 8 o'clock, uh, game times are posted now. Shockers v. Rebels, a rematch of last season's championship. Zauli, maybe not, but the Rebels are at full strength tonight. Who do you have in this game? Um, this, is a, this is a tough game for the Shockers. I mean, the Shockers struggle against physical teams, um, and that's what the Rebels are. So uh, the Shockers, probably two teams that, they would struggle against the most are the Rebels and the footballers, and they get the Rebels. So I think the Rebels will win this game based on experience and just based on, I think they have 
the mind game factor. Um, the Shockers are a little worried about playing them. That's what I think. Well, they beat them they three did. weeks ago, but yeah. that and was that with Zhao or without Zhao? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, 136 the, the thing points. is, they're not necessarily better with Zhao. Because Zhao doesn't play any defense, and he holds onto the ball, and he takes shots away from Jake, and he takes shots away from Ethan, and gets everybody kind of out of rhythm because he just pounds the ball. So he's not necessarily a plus for that team. Okay. Fob 5 V, free ballers. Uh, no burn tomorrow as well. Uh, he'll be back next week if we win. However, I don't know if we do. Uh, without burn, I think the, the free ballers have an advantage. Um, Ant's gonna ha- Ant and Briggs are going to have to lock some really nice minutes and protect the paint. Uh, but it's going to be really tough to, to compete with those guys. Uh, they're physical, they're athletic, um, and they work their asses off. And we usually beat teams based on our work ethic and, and defense, but they typically match that. So I'm going to say free ballers um, in a close one. I'm going to say free ballers by five. That would be a free ballers Rebels matchup in the final four if that were to happen. Um, footballers. We'll play the Squires, I believe. Who do you have in this one? Uh, the footballers. <clears throat> the Squires are just a bad version of the, uh, the Gorillas. They're, they, they are. Uh, they're a team that, unathletic, a little bit older, play a little bit smarter, play together for a while. Um, but the footballers are just a bad matchup for them, from top to bottom. So I, I think the footballers win that game. If they have everybody, it's a Fridley game. Yeah. So we'll see who's available on Thursday nights. Like you said, they, they don't really have jobs right now. So <laughs> They were full strength tonight. tonight. Uh, but, well, here's the thing that sucks is I was expecting their, <laughs> their chubby white guy to show up, and, <laughs> and he didn't show up. So I was kind of disappointed in that. I could, we could have used a few of his minutes. <laughs> okay. Um, last one, UDK v UANO. Who do you have in this one? Yeah, UD, UDK's gotten lucky. This postseason, they they drew a, a horrible draw to start. Kevin Chase was on crack, but then he must have known that there was going to be a Muskies forfeit. He must have known the Monstars were going to uh, upset whoever it was. He must have known. Um, now they're playing. What's their uh, what's the name? You ain't know. He, he must have known something. He knew something we didn't know. Was were the were the Blazers full strength tonight, or was Perry not here? Perry was not here. I don't know, but he's gotten really fortunate. UDK, it's almost kind of that path is it might be destiny for UDK this season. Everything's working out in their favor so far. Okay. So, any parting thoughts? Cheryl's is really fast. He is. He he uh, he had some he had some nice spin moves, and Asiata hit like two like twenty eight foot threes to start the game. Just he shouldn't make those. Thoughts on today's free agents, e- agency? I know you love Lamar Miller in Houston. I know that makes I you do. happy. I, th- I think that's a really good fit for Lamar Miller, if you listen to my podcast. <laughs> um, it's a good podcast. It, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Lamar Miller to Houston, I kinda, we kind of called that on the podcast uh, last night, and it's a good fit. It, Dallas, Dallas and, and Houston were the two best fits, in my opinion. That's a great fit for them, and they, they also signed Osweiler. So they're, they're trying to do some stuff. I'm not a big believer in Osweiler, but when you got DeAndre Hopkins, it, it really doesn't matter who's throwing the football. Very good. Well, that'll be it for football. We won't talk too much more, although we could do more. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you tonight.